Hey guys, Chris here again. Um, today I'm going to be making a video um, about the Aritech Kimber again. And um, I'm going to tell you about the differences in appearance between the real steel Kimber and the Aritech Kimber. And what I mean by that is the uh, style and um, and uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, the uh, the style of the different parts here um, so um, I was thinking uh, I'll start front to back top to bottom and just um, going over the the parts that differentiate from from the real Kimber um, <clears throat> so first of all we have the front sight. Um, the actual shape of the um, sights uh, looks to be about the same. However, the real Kimber doesn't have a, um, a dot on the on the sights. It's just flat, so there's no white dot or not even a indentation for a dot. And the same goes for the rear sight. Um, so maybe that's why they don't come painted from uh, from RA Tech when you get it. Um, so um, yeah, also um, in this video, I'm going to tell you if if there's a difference and if there are aftermarket parts that can fix it for you. And for the sites, I'm not aware of anyone that do um, the sites without the the dots in them so that's probably something you have to live with um, next up is the chamber and barrel uh, on the real one the chamber and barrel are uh, what Kimber call charcoal blued finish and obviously as you can see on this one it's uh, chromed or uh, stainless rather um, Um, moving on to the hammer, uh, that's one also uh, different on the real one. It's a um, Kimber style trigger and it's a little bit different shape and uh, also the real one is uh, also charcoal blued uh, to match the rest. So this one is the wrong shape and uh, obviously it's black but uh, it's not it's not the same finish um, as the slide and the frame since it's a uh, stock KJ part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then we have the, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, Nova makes a, uh, a Kimber style um, hammer that actually can't replace this so you get the correct shape. I'm not, I think they do one that is uh, black or blued supposedly. I'm not sure what finish they use. Uh, and there's also one that is stainless on the sides and black on the edges. So uh, you, you can get the correct shape for the uh, hammer there. Um, moving on to the, the thumb safety. Um, this one is ambidextrous, so you have it on both sides. Uh, the real one is only uh, non-ambidextrous, so it's only on the uh, left-hand side. And this one is also the incorrect shape uh, and style. Um, the real one is obviously a, a Kimber non-ambidextrous uh, thumb safety. And Nova also makes a replacement part for that, which you could uh, install. Um, and of course, since it's uh, the real one is non-ambidextrous, uh, the pins here for the uh, the hammer and the sear or a disconnector uh, would have to be a non-ambidextrous layout, which means that they know they sit flush with the frame. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mentioned Nova made that part. Uh, 
the grip safety. It's also the incorrect uh, shape or style. Uh, the real one has a uh, Kimber style safety, which uh, I think the, the actual beaver tail here, or whatever you call this, uh, is the correct shape, but the, the speed bump down here is uh, it's kind of flush on the real one. And uh, Nova also makes a part for that that you can get to, uh, to get the correct shape for the, uh, the grip safety down. Um, moving on to the uh, mainspring housing, uh, on the real one, uh, there's actually, there appears to be two models of the real one. One which is this one here, which is the black and white grips with the uh, uh, charcoal blue uh, barrel and uh, chamber. And then there's also one that is kind of two-tone with that and uh, wood grips and they differentiate a little bit in in the uh, style and shape of the different parts but I'm going to focus on the one that, that's closer to this one here. So um, the mainspring housing it's the real one is uh, obviously serrated like this one is however it does not have the uh, let's see if I can get an angle on that it does not have the lanyard loop at the bottom so it's just flush down there uh, but the serration is correct <clears throat> uh, let's see I think I forgot a couple of things here uh, I told you I was going to go top to bottom but um, anyway the um, trigger on this one is wrong uh, style the the real Kimber has the, uh, the three hole uh, uh, trigger Nova also makes a uh, replacement part, which you can get. That's the correct style. Um, <clears throat> I'm saying um a lot today. Uh, the, um, let's see if I can get some light on. There we go. Uh, magazine release on the real one is uh, checkered, not serrated like this one. Uh, Nova also makes a part, uh, replacement parts for that. Uh, I don't think it's a specific Kimber style uh, magazine release button, but it's supposed to be checkered and this one is uh, serrated obviously. And also the uh, magazine release, uh, what do you call it, screw or locking lug or something, um, it's supposed to have a hex screw in there and this one has a regular um, uh, straight screw in there. Uh, I don't think there's anyone currently making a replacement part for that, but um, I, I did have a um, real steel magazine release um, screw here, and uh, at first glance it appeared to fit, but I think you need to do some spacing with the, uh, the actual length of it, but uh, it fit into the, no, uh, the KJ and Nova magazine release. So I think you could get a real one and uh, modify it a little bit to uh, to make it fit. Hold on, I just got to make sure my audio is recording here. Yes, I am. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> so that's the magazine release and the trigger. And I forgot to mention um, regarding the uh, mainspring housing, Nova also makes a serrated one without the uh, lanyard loop so you could replace that um, and then we have the the grips um, uh, I forgot to tell you this before I start but I'm not going to go into um, the type of ma materials used only the shape and style of the different parts and uh, uh, obviously these are white like the real one but the real one has actual real uh, bone grips and these are uh, I believe they are wood uh, originally which are then painted and uh, clear coated and whatever so uh, I'd, I'd give this a pass for just for looks but obviously if you want to be closer to the real one you could buy real bone grips uh, for a real 1911 and those would fit without modification on this gun <clears throat> and uh, speaking of the grip 
the grip screws here are black with a straight screw uh, style and the real Kimber uh, uses uh, hex screws to match the uh, magazine release style there. Uh, and uh, Airsoft Surgeon makes black hex screws that you could replace those with. So um, you could, you, I think you could be like 90% accurate with this if you bought all the um, replacement parts um, that you can actually get for this. So. Um, you know, obviously, since Aritech chose to use the stock KJMU parts, uh, there's there are some uh, some things that are not correct in terms of uh, matching the real one. Uh, but overall, it's not too bad. You know, you you could get away with keeping it like this. Uh, apologies if I'm getting the gun out of screen a little bit here. I'm shooting with my new camera and the. Uh, it's a bit of a tighter shot with the lens I have on, so I'm still getting used to that. Um, and finally, what I noticed on the the real one is that it comes with a flush base uh, regular 1911 style magazine. Uh, obviously, KJW make a uh, 1911 style gas magazine that you could use for display purposes. I wouldn't recommend it for actually shooting the gun. Um, you need the CO2 to uh, get the full potential out of this pistol. So um, I think that's about it. So I, I was talking to another guy on uh, I think YouTube that actually had this uh, gun as well and he said he had studied it in more detail and came to the conclusion that the the font or style of the Kimber logo there was a little bit different but um, I tried to compare it and I, I couldn't really tell a difference so unless you're an expert on trademarks I don't think you'd notice that um, let's see did I go over everything yeah I think um, uh, from what I've seen on, online on the, from pictures and some videos, the bushing and uh, recoil spring uh, plug and guide rod are the correct uh, shape and style and material. And also, um, even though the chamber and uh, I think barrel is blued on the real one, the front of the muzzle here was stainless or chrome. For some reason, I don't know how they do that, but uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's about it. Sorry for um, making kind of a sloppy video here. Um, I'm not really speaking very well, but it's uh, almost 1 a.m. here, and I just wanted to get some video done to put up for you guys so since I, uh, I kind of promised you to upload a couple of new videos. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.